Hi everyone, in this video, we will discuss the LU decomposition method to solve a set of linear equations. At the end of this video, you'd be able to decompose a matrix into a product of a lower and upper triangular matrices using the LU decomposition method to solve a linear system. We will be decomposing the matrix using two methods. The first method uses the row reduction from the cost elimination method that we've learned in the previous video. And the second method is called the substitution method. The LU decomposition method has three major steps. In the first step, we decompose the matrix A into the lower and upper triangular matrices. Matrix A comes from the linear system A x equals to B where we decompose matrix A into a product of lower and upper triangular matrices and now the equation A x equals to B becomes L U X equals to B. So matrix A has been decomposed to L U X equals to B. Now, if we let U X be matrix Y, then we have the product of matrix L and Y B equals to matrix B. In the second step, you would solve the linear equation L Y equals to B. And remember, the objective of solving your linear equations is to find the values of x1, x2 and x3 here. And so, to find the values of x1, x2, and 3, we need to solve for the matrix x. And so, we use this equation here, ux equals to matrix y, to find the values of x1, x2, and x3. In step number 2, we would find matrix y using the forward substitution method. And in step number 3, we would find matrix X using the backward substitution method. Let's start decomposing matrix A into matrix L and U using the row reduction or the cost elimination technique. Now, what is a lower triangular matrix? The lower triangular matrix or matrix L has values 1 as the value of the main diagonal and zeros as the entries above the main diagonal. Meanwhile, a matrix is called an upper triangular matrix if the values below the main diagonals or if the entries below the main diagonals are zeros. Now, if we still remember, we have decomposed matrix A into the upper triangular matrix using the Gauss elimination method in the previous video. So, I will explain the example again because we need that example to construct the lower triangular matrix. Let's look at matrix A again. Now to find matrix U, we will be using the row reduction or the Gauss elimination method. If we still remember, in the Gauss elimination method, the first row would remain as it is. So I would simply copy 4, minus 8 and 1. And in the second row, the value 4 
needs to be 0. And how do we get 0? We take the negative of a21 divided by a11, which is negative 1. Multiply with the first row plus with the second row. And this gives us the new row 2. So the new row 2 would be negative 4 plus 4, which is 0, 8 minus 1, 7, negative 1 plus 1, 0. And to convert negative 2 to 0, we would have to take negative of negative 2 divided by 4, which is half. Multiply with row 1 plus row 2. And this gives us the new row 3. So we have negative 4 plus 1, negative 3. Half plus 5, 5 and a half. And finally, we need to convert the value minus 3 to 0. And how do we do that? We take negative of negative 3 divided with 7. So we have 3 over 7. Multiply with the second row. Add with row 3. And this gives us the new row 3. And row 1 and row 2 remains the same. So we have 4 minus 8, 1, 0, 7, 0, 0, 0. And 3 over 7 multiplied by 0 is 0 plus 5 and a half becomes 5 and a half. And there you go. This will be matrix U. Now, how do we find matrix L? If you still remember, matrix in matrix L, the major diagonals are ones. The values above the major diagonals will be zeros. And now we need to find these three values here, which are L21, L31, and L32. So how do we find these three values here? It is quite easy. In order to find the values L21 and L31, we need to look at the original matrix A. The first column of matrix A. Now, our interest would be the value A11, which is 4 in this case. And now, how do we get 4 to be 1? We need to divide by 4. And so to find the value L21, we take the value here 4 divided by 4 becomes 1. And we take the value minus 2 divided by 4. Now this becomes negative half. Okay, so refer to the first column in matrix A. Divide the first column with a11 so 4 divided by 4 becomes 1 4 divided by 4 you get 1 as l21 negative 2 divided by 4 you get it as negative half okay now in order to get in order to get the value l32 we no more look at matrix A, but we look at this matrix here. Now, this matrix has gone through two transformations to change 
the original values which are 4 and negative 2 to the values 0. Okay, and now we would consider the second column but not all of the second column. Um, these two values here. Okay, because the value 1 starts from A to 2. Okay, so now our major interest would be a to 2 and in order for 7 to be 1 we would divide it by 7 so 7 divided by 7 is 1 and L32 would be negative 3 divided by 7 which gives us negative 3 over 7 and we could already stop here because we already have the values of L21, L31 and L32. But if you would like to go further, then the final transformation would be at the matrix U here. And in order to get 1, we would divide 5.5 with 5.5. So... I would repeat to get the values L21 and L31. We look at the first column of matrix A and we divide it with the first element here A11. We divide each value in the column with A11. In order to get L32, we look at the first transformation after the row reduction has been done twice to change the value a21 and A31 to 0 and we would refer to the second column. We would divide all of the second column with the element A22 which is 7. So 7 divided by 7 is 1 and negative 3 divided by 7 would be negative 3 over 7 and we could already stop here. And there you go. We use the Gauss elimination method to find the matrix U and L. So step number 1A was to find the matrix U and step number 1B is to find matrix L which we have done just now. So far we have decomposed matrix A into the product of matrix L and matrix U. Okay, so AX equals to B, LU multiplied by matrix X equals to B. Now, I would let matrix Y equals to the product of matrix U and matrix X. So UX would be Y. And so we would write the equation as matrix L multiplied by matrix Y equals to matrix B. Since we already have the value of matrix L and we have the values of matrix B, we could solve matrix Y. And we could find the values of Y1, Y2 and Y3. So step number 2 in the LU decomposition method is to solve the matrix or the equation LY equals to B using the forward substitution technique. And this is very easy. I'll show you how. You would take the first row, multiply with matrix Y and here we would have Y1. Y1 would be negative 21. Next, we would consider the second row. Multiply with matrix Y. So we get 1 multiplied by Y1 would be Y1 plus 1 multiplied by y2 would be y2 equals to 7. 
and y1 is negative 21 plus y2 equals to 7 and so we get y2 as 28. Finally, we take the product of the third row multiplied with matrix y and we have negative half multiplied by y1 and y1 is negative 21 plus negative 3 over 7 multiplied by y2 and y2 is 28 plus 1 multiplied by y3 and the answer would be 15. When we solve this, you could use your calculator to solve it quickly. y3 gives us 16 and a half. And so the values of y1, y2 and y3 would be be negative 21, 28 and 16 and a half. If you still remember, we started with the equation ax equals to b. And then we decompose a into matrix L and u, x equals to b. Next, we let y be matrix u multiplied by matrix x or the product of matrix u and x equals to b. Then we solved for matrix y and now the objective of solving the linear system is to find the value of matrix x and so we would use the equation here which is matrix u multiplied by matrix x or the product of u and x is equals to matrix y so we would solve u x equals to y using the backwards substitution method to find the values of x1 x2 and x3 so backwards substitution method we start with the last row so the third row multiplied with matrix X, we have 0 multiplied by X1 is 0, 0 multiplied by X2 is 0, and we have 5 and a half X3 as 33 over 2, or 16 and a half. So 5 and a half here is also 11 over 2. And so x3 gives us 33 over 11, which is 3. To find x2, we multiply the second row with matrix x. And so we have 7x2 equals to 28. And x2 will be 28 over 7, which is 4. And finally, in order to find x1, we multiply the first row with matrix x and we have 4x1 minus 8x2, x2 is 4 plus x3, x3 is 3 equals to negative 21 and we solve for x1 with the value and here we go the values of x1, x2 and 3 as 2, 4 and 3 plus make sure that whenever you solve um, using the LU decomposition method you use your calculator to double check the answer and I've discussed that in the previous video in the previous section, we have discussed decomposing matrix A to matrix L and U using the row reduction or cost elimination method. In this section, we will use the second method 
to decompose matrix A into the product of matrix L and U using the substitution method. In order to use the substitution method, we would multiply matrix L and U and compare the product of LU with matrix A. The first element of A11 would be the product of the first row of matrix L with the first column of matrix U and this gives us U11. A12 would be the multiplication of the first row and the second column and this gives us U12. A13 would be the multiplication of the first row and the third column that gives us U13. A to 1 would be the second row and the first column. So second row matrix L, first column matrix U gives us L to 1, U11. One, one. And the rest would be 0. A to 2 would be second row matrix L, second column matrix U. gives us L21, U12, plus U22. A23 would be the second row matrix L and the third column matrix U. This is L21, U13, plus U23. A31 would be row 3 matrix L, first column matrix U, and this gives us L, this gives us L31, U11. A32 would be L31, U12 plus L32 U22 and finally A33 would be L31 U13 plus L32 U23 plus U33 We would now compare each element in the product of matrix LU with matrix A. If we still remember matrix L has the main diagonals as 1 and zeros for the elements above the diagonal. Matrix U has zeros for the element below the diagonal. In order to find the values of U11, U12, L21 and so forth, we would be comparing each element here with matrix A because these two matrices are equal. So in this case, U11 would be 4. U11 is 4. U12 is negative 8 and U13 would be 1. Next, L21 multiplied by U11. So L21 and U11 is 4 is equals to 4, which means L21 would be 1. This is L21, the value would be 1. L21 is 1. And next, we have L21, which is 1 multiplied by U12. 
u1 2 is negative 8 plus u2 2, 2 is equals to negative 1 so u2 2, 2 would be 7 this is 7 and next l2 1 which is 1 multiplied by u1 3 u1 3 is 1 plus u2 3 is equals to 1 which means u u2 3 would be 0 and this is 0 next l3 1 which is what we would like to find out multiply by u11 u11 is given as 4 so 4 l31 is equals to negative 2 so l31 would be negative half this negative half next l31 which is negative half multiply by u12 u12 is negative 8 plus l32 which is what we would like to find multiply by u22 and u22 is 7 7 multiplied by l32 is equals to 1 using calculator l32 would be negative 3 over 7 so this is negative 3 over 7 and finally we have l31 which is negative half multiplied by u13 u13 which is 1 plus l32 l32 is negative 3 over 7 multiplied by u23 u23 is 0 plus u33 is equals to 5 so u33 would be 5 plus half which is 5 and a half 5 and a half and so we found again the matrix L and matrix U you may use the substitution method or the Gauss elimination method to decompose matrix A to matrix L and matrix U and then you would perform similar operations as we have discussed before to find the values of x1, x2 and x3 let's try out another question and the question says solve the linear system below using LU decomposition so this question asks us to use the LU decomposition method to solve the linear system however it doesn't mention whether we should use the Gauss elimination or row reduction method or the substitution method so in this case you may choose to use either one so you can try this question out on your own and then check the answers with the ones given here so you may pause the video to try out this question otherwise we could try out the question together I would be using the row reduction or Gauss elimination method to decompose uh, matrix A into matrix L and U so the first step is to find matrix U um, to do that we would find the new row 2 but before that I would simply copy the first row 3 negative 0 0.1 and negative 0 0.2 so the new row 2 would be negative of 0 0.1 divided by 3 row 1 plus row 2 and this gives us 0 plug in the values using calculator so plug in R1 with negative 0.1 and R2 with 7 
you would get 7.0033 next the new value of a23 you would plug in negative 0 0.2 into r1 and negative 0 0.3 into r2 to get negative 0 0.2933 to find the new row 3, you would take negative 0 0.3 divided by A11, which is 3, multiplied by row 1 plus row 3. And this would give us 0. Um, next, I would plug in negative 0 0.1 into R1 and negative 0 0.2 into R3 which would give me negative 0 0.19 and A33 I would plug in negative 0 0.2 into R1 and 10 into R3 which gives me 10.02 in order to convert negative 0 0.19 to 0 the new row 3 negative of this value 0 0.19 divided by 7.0033 row 2 plus row 3 and the first two rows remain the same 3 is negative 0 0.1, negative 0 0.2, 0, 0.0033, and negative 0 0.2933. I would get 0, 0, and I would have to plug in negative 0 0.3 into row 2 and 10 into row 3. That would give me. 10.0120 So this is my matrix U. Step 1B is to find matrix L from matrix U. If you still remember, we have the values 1 at the main diagonal and our job is to simply find the three values here which is quite easy. So matrix L would be 1, 1 and 1, 0, 0, 0. I would consider the first column of matrix A. And in order for the first element here, A11, to be 1, I have to divide it by 3. So L21 would be 0 0.1 divided by 3 which is 0 0.0333 and next L31 would be 0 0.3 divided by 3 which is 0 0.1 and next I would consider the second column starting from the second row here in order for this value to be 1, I have to divide it by 7.0033. So L32 would be negative 0 0.19 divided by 7.0033, which is negative 0 0.0271. And this would be my matrix L. In the next step, I would have to solve matrix Y using this formula here. Um, so matrix L has been calculated just now. It's simply 1, 0, 0, 0 0.0333. 
one zero zero point one negative zero point zero two seven one and one so ly y would be the values y1 y2 and y3 is equals to b and b has been provided as 7.85 now i got this from the question negative 19.3 and 71.4 so using the forward substitution method, y1 gives me 7.85, second row, this column, I have 0 0.0333 multiplied by y1 which is 7.85 plus y2 equals to negative 19.3 so y2 would be negative 19.5614 third row we have 0 0.1 y1 and y1 is 7.85 minus 0 0.271 y2 and y2 is given here plus y3 is equals to 71.4 so y3 would be 70.0849 class if you still remember we had ax equals to b and then we decompose a into lu x equals to b then we let y b u x we found y from ly equals to b and now we our objective as usual is to find x in order to find x we have to solve this equation so ux equals to y let's do this so matrix u which we have calculated is 3 negative 0 0.1 negative 0 0.2 0 7.0033 negative 0 0.2933 zero zero ten point zero one two zero you multiplied by matrix x which is simply x1 x2 and x3 is equals to y and we have calculated the values of y as 7.85 negative 19.5614 and 70.0849 so using backward substitution we would start at the third row we have 10.0120 x3 equals to 70.0849 whereby x3 would be 7 second row 7.0033 x2 minus 0 0.2933 x3 and x3 is 7 apply in the value is equals to negative 19.5614 so using your calculator you would get x2 as negative 2.5 
Finally, the first row, we have 3x1 minus 0 0.1 x2 and x2 is negative 2.5 minus 0 0.2 x3 and x3 is 7. It's equal to 7.85 and using our calculator, x1 is simply 3. So x1, x2 and x3 is equals to 3, negative 2.5 and 7. This would be our final answer. Let me just check the question again. Okay, so the question uses x, y and z as the variable. So I would change x1, x2 and x3 to x, y and z. You may check your answers using the calculator, using the equation function, as I've shown you in my previous video. Okay, class, um, that's all for this video. I hope I've made LUD composition easy for you. If you still have problems understanding LUD composition, please go through the video once again and try out the examples with me. Remember, success is a journey, not a destination. So I'll see you in the next video.